Good morning, you Covenant World. Uh, we're seeing an upsurge on the uh, arrest of uh, Christians around the world, and especially in the West, in places like Canada and the United Kingdom. A street preacher was arrested, an old man aged 75. Um, he was preaching the gospel in the streets. He got arrested. Somebody in Canada got arrested, a preacher. Uh, and we're seeing an upsurge, and, I, and I'm kind of wondering if, if what's going on in the natural Israel, which at this moment is very serious concern for the people, and we're praying for the people of Israel, and especially Jerusalem at this time, uh, is what's going on in Israel, does it go hand in hand with what's going to go on with the church at the same time? Because it seems to be that both, both these things, are occurring at the same time. As we see, uh, restrictions that are going to, or what we're, uh, many of us are seeing, are restrictions and uh, a polluting of uh, the spiritual houses or households of faith by the world, uh, which it has been polluted for a long time. But what I'm sensing is that the world will stick its nose into the business of the church and there won't be that separation. And it's you can say in a sense it already has become part of the world, the established church, churches. And, and well, in fact, most of the churches So when we're seeing what's going on in Jerusalem and it's almost a, a, a practically an all-out assault, on Israel uh, by the enemy, uh, will we see likewise, in like manner, these things come upon the church? Uh, and it may not be in the physical sense, like rockets coming down, raining down the churches, but it can, you know, the, the fire and the wrath can come in many other ways in the West. Uh, it will come psychologically upon the church as uh, the state interferes in the ways of the church. And especially when it comes to subjects like homosexuality and um, and stuff like that. And, the, uh, and the, no, those things will be used as an excuse to uh, curtail uh, the churches, to curtail the speech to curtail what is said in the pulpits uh, by law, by man's law, uh, because it will be classed as hate speech. And, of course, we can see it, uh, uh, you know, like a rolling moss. It's, it's gathering momentum, and it's going to come down heavy. As we've been saying in the last few videos, going to come down heavy on the churches, and this is why I'm always saying there will be anguish and heartache upon upon uh, the body of Christ in the assemblies of God around the world. Uh, when these when the uh, laws come into force in the fullness upon the church. So as we're seeing the tax increase on natural Israel, the attacks on spiritual Israel are going to go hand in hand, side by side. So while most, the majority of uh, the members of the households of faith have got their eyes on natural Israel and what's going on, the thief comes along sneaking in while they're uh, symbolically sleeping and not keeping an eye on what's going on in spiritual Israel. And they'll be caught in the trap. I'm, pr I'm pretty certain of that. And this is where the anger will come from the households of faith. But, as we said, quite a few people have heeded the call to separate themselves, to quit touching the unclean things which are in the spiritual houses in which has become the devil's playground for every unclean spirit. And uh, it's quite interesting to see, and 
and to try and perceive it in that way, um, I may be totally off course, I don't know. But um, things are gathering momentum here in the United Kingdom as more people are speaking up against Christianity, which they wouldn't have dreamt of doing years ago. People had a respect for Christianity years ago, uh, uh, and, I, and I'm uh, no doubt it was the same in the United States of America. But as as the worship of ba ba Baal goes on in the United States, uh, and people become more confident in the false god, when they become more confident in the false gospel, and when they become worshippers of the false messiah to come to mislead everybody uh, and uh, so this is a time to be awake and not to fall asleep and and not to uh, rest on your laurels you know don't sit up in your rocking chair thinking that everything's great and fine and dandy and you're just waiting for the lord to come and take you out of here it ain't going to ha I, I don't believe it's going to happen like that. But what I, I do understand is there will be a revealing and unveiling of the true Messiah within all people when God's Spirit is poured upon all flesh in the earth. And this is where the anguish and heartache will come when people will see that <laughs> he's real and that he does exist. And he's probably he's been here all the time since the first century. He never left the earth, in my humble opinion. So, whilst keeping one eye on what's going on in natural Israel, we we may well see well uh, an all-out assault to destroy uh, Jerusalem. And this has been the agenda for many many years, not only by the enemies of. Uh, the Jewish people, or of natural Israel, of which there are many, and uh, and we know they're surrounded by enemies, and that will gather momentum as they gain confidence, because no one is speaking up really against these attacks. Yeah, they might. Joe Biden might come out and say, "Oh, we we're urging all sides uh, to be calm," but you know what is Israel supposed to do when there's Hundreds of rockets raining down on your population. They have every right to defend themselves, in my opinion. And I, I believe they, they want to be careful. These nations need to be careful. They don't incur the wrath of Israel uh, in the fullness because they'll be sorry. <laughs> they will be sorry if, if Israel decides to... Uh, <clears throat> launch out an all all out attack on the enemies of natural Israel, and of course, you know, as the Gentiles under the new covenant, uh, we too will have this war, this battle against the enemy uh, on many fronts. And as I say, the the battle will go on on many fronts, not just physically, but uh, spiritually and emotionally. The attack has taken place to curtail Christianity, to curtail the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, to curtail the Bible <coughs> and the written word and the spoken word and remove it from society. And uh, no doubt this is what's coming. And I, I totally believe that 100% this is what's coming. Uh, they, they, you know, the, the fleshy man... He's gaining his confidence against the spiritual man. He's gaining his... Uh, maybe he thinks he's got the upper hand against the, the spiritual man because the spiritual man is weak. Because the, work, the church is weak. They haven't stood up for righteousness, holiness. They haven't stood up for the gospel. They haven't stood up for the word of God. In the fullness, they've diluted that which was spoken and that which was has been set forth by... Uh, the Father, by God Almighty, uh, and proclaimed to uh, uh, give a diluted gospel in the world. And so they think they're just fools. This is why there's no more respect for Christianity, because they haven't stood firm for the gospel, for truth and righteousness, and, and for 
uh, uh, speaking against iniquity, sin, etc., etc. And uh, it, yeah, it's definitely gathering momentum. And we need to sit up and take a wake and, and, and stop resting on our, our hands, on our fat bellies at this time. But I'm afraid many will fall asleep. Many will think everything is good. But it's not. It's going to be a time of anguish and heartache for many people in the households of faith. But for me, the way I see it is the sons and daughters are, uh, will, will, I don't know, will be kind of protected from this because of the, the separation, because the Lord has separated the people from amongst uh, the weed, uh, from amongst the wheat and the weeds, uh, they've been separated, the wheat and the weeds, sorry, have been separated and set apart, uh, and they and they will not be touched, they will not be harmed, I believe, uh, because then they're, they're not um, worshipping at these, count, in these counterfeit kingdoms, they haven't put their hopes in these counterfeit gospels, or agendas, or counterfeit doctrines of man, that, they follow the Lord Jesus Christ wherever he goes through the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit should have led all believers out of the counterfeit kingdoms. The, counterf the Holy Spirit should have led all those who hope in Christ to uh, realize and wake up what's going on and see that they've been fools and the error of our ways, uh, such as the way I have, I've been in, I've been uh, into many counterfeit kingdoms looking for Christ, looking for the truth, and never found it. It was only when I come out of the counterfeit kingdoms, uh, or the households of faith, that I found the Lord Jesus Christ, which is kind of ironic. And this is why I've got the confidence to speak. And, and urge our brothers and sisters and those who are maybe caught in a trap in these in these uh, places of worship where God Almighty doesn't dwell. He doesn't dwell in man-made temples or anything made of bricks and mortar. So us Gentiles need to be awake and keep our eyes both on natural Israel and one eye on spiritual Israel, what's going on? Peace.